Hello, this is Wampire. This is going to be a fun video. It's a tag video. I tag all the CAVA members. So if you guys are interested in doing a VR to this, that's going to be awesome. And anyone else that's watching this video that wants to jump in, please do so. Feel free, okay? Because I think this is some exciting, uh, exciting stuff, okay? So the subject is simple. Three of your favorite movie scenes that have improvised weapons in it, okay? So that's it, very simple. Let me start it off. So for the number three, uh, the, the third one, okay, it's from the film Street Night, starring Jeff Speakman. You know I had to do this. American Kempo Karate expert Jeff Speakman. He's in a fight scene with a big guy, big strong looking dude, one-on-one -on -one fight scene. And uh, Jeff Speakman says to the guy, he goes, you're not that big. Think about it. And that means the guy's pretty big, you know. So they're going at it toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and uh, Jeff Speakman grabs a screwdriver, punctures the guy's thigh right there. It just looks brutal. The guy gets angry, grabs a steel pipe, okay, has some good length to it, starts attacking Jeff Speakman with it. And this is where, you know, because uh, I'm a big fan of the art of Escrima and the Filipino martial arts, Jeff Speakman grabs two wrenches and just goes to town on the guy using Escrima type, Kempo type moves mixed in, blended in together, just you know, double double stick motions and just goes to town on the guy, knocks the guy out, finishes the fight, all right? You got to check it out. If you like Escrima, if you like Kempo, you know, you like martial arts, improvised weapons, it's an awesome scene. The wrenches look brutal, just making these thud noises on, off the guy and just it hits him in the chin and stuff. It's just, it's awesome. So check it out. Uh, second, my second choice is from the film Dangerous Man, all right? Starring uh, Steven Seagal. Uh, basically, I call this the F you up ugly scene. Steven Seagal is trying to get to his car. Two thugs are trying to mug him. All right. And uh, basically, uh, Steven Seagal's like, look, man, I just got out of prison. Okay. Uh, if you guys don't leave me alone, I will F you up ugly. And they're all laughing. The two guys are laughing and like, what, what, you know, what does that mean? I like to see it. And boy, he just, one guy pulls a gun on Seagal and of course Seagal beats the tar out of him, shoots the guy and then he even, uh, he pops the, the slide release and the gun is exposed, all right? And with that exposed gun, he just stabs it into the guy's face repeatedly and that's what he meant by F you up ugly. I think it's a very creative scene, it looks really, really, really brutal, all right? And uh, so that's my number two choice, awesome, awesome scene. Okay, so. My number one pick, okay, my, my, I think this is takes the cake, all right, because those, those first two that I mentioned are awesome, but what is the number one scene? It's from the film Apocalypto, okay. Um, Jaguar Paw, the main character, uh, he gets a poisonous frog, and then he gets thorns off of a tree, all right. He gets the thorns, and then he rubs it onto the, uh, onto the frog's back, all right, and then he gets a leaf, rolls it up, and voila you get a blow dart gun, all right? Uh, to me, that, I mean, it sounds simple, but it just seems so realistic. It's, it's an awesome, awesome scene. It's basically like, you know, he, you've seen the movie, so he's being chased and everything, and then, I mean, he just gets to the point where he's like, look, I'm not afraid anymore. This is my jungle, all right? This is my home, basically. And he turns it, he turns the tide on him, and it starts off where he gets the, the beehive and throws it in their face and it's like a grenade basically and just launches you know it doesn't kill them but man you can tell that it's gonna really mess them up and demoralize them but then that leads to this weapon that I'm talking about the, the improvised blow dart gun and I this just blew me away and this was lethal so uh, great great scene okay so I hope you liked my three choices if not please tell me what are yours so thank you for watching and take care.